Dan Walker, 45, sparked concern last Monday when he took to Twitter to share a picture of his bloodied and bruised face, telling fans he had suffered a road accident involving his bike and car in Sheffield. Ever since the incident, the former BBC Breakfast presenter has been met with criticism as to why he did not use the nearby cycle lane, which would have directed him to a subway. Dan has since spoken out on these claims and shared why he opted against using the subway, as he continues to recover from the crash. Dan published a column with the Sunday Times, explaining how he was doing a week on from the accident, while also debunking some myths. Since his accident, many have argued that Dan should have been using a nearby cycle lane that would have diverted him through a subway underneath the road, avoiding heavy traffic. Dan used the column to explain himself, as he wrote, One of the pertinent questions I have been asked this week is, why didn't I use the subway under the notoriously busy Sheffield roundabout that morning? The last two times I ventured down it was covered in shattered glass from the night before and, when you try to use it at that time of the morning, you will often find the cycle lane packed with pedestrians on their way to work. Andrea McLean bedridden for days as she admits I have been poorly for so long now Andrea McLean, who quit Loose Women in 2020, revealed she supported her former co-star Brenda Edwards on the anniversary of her son Jamal Edwards' death, who died from cardiac arrest last year at the age of 31. The Excite TV star said she ended up poorly after the event. One of those who spoke out against the former Strictly star was Hugh Bladen, from the Alliance of British Drivers. He told the Mail Online of the incident, neither Walker nor the driver is blameless. Walker should have used the safer route provided for him as a cyclist, why do cyclists not use the facilities provided for them? And he is a cloth for wearing dark clothing. Cyclists should make sure they are clearly visible at all times. The driver appears to be starting to move to his left, presumably in preparation for taking the next exit. With signs everywhere, other traffic to consider and maybe trying to find his way, it is a simple mistake to Ms. Walker, possibly hidden by the A-pillar. If I were cycling I would not venture onto that roundabout. Dan also used the column to insist that he is confident that he was not to blame for the accident. The former Strictly star said, There is still nothing there, which a large part of me is very happy about. I can't go into details at the moment because the police might take another week or so to publish their report but, after talking to Connor, a police officer, I am confident that I am not to blame and I hope this can be resolved outside the courts. I know I could have died but I also know how easy it is to make a mistake, even when you're trying to be careful. Dashcam footage of the incident has since been released, showing Don's bike when the rear wheel gets caught on a car's front wing. Dan has praised his helmet for saving his life, leaving the catchphrase, don't be a helmet. Wear a helmet. However, despite feeling a lot better than he did this time last week, his teeth are still bruised and he has an ulcer the size of a 20p piece under his front lip. He said has hated doing nothing and was looking forward to his prompt return to Channel 5 News. Dan hopes to return to work later in the coming week as long as the swelling and bruising goes down. He joined Channel 5 last year after leaving BBC Breakfast, having been on the show since 2016. Dan was also the previous host of BBC's Football Focus from 2009 until 2021.